On the rooftops, on the streets, on the lawn surrounding Sander Hall, they came before dawn this morning to see and record the 27-story dormitory being blown to pieces. We've been here since about 4 o'clock this morning. No, I've been here since 1953. Why did you come so early? We wanted to make sure we get a spot. In one false move, 25 stories, 8 and a half seconds, you were there, we were there, bye buddy. Everybody's coming in. Despite UC's attempt to downplay the implosion of Sander Hall, it was an event complete with rooftop tailgate parties and family picnics. How many seconds? What perhaps many spectators didn't realize is that the better your seat, the faster you had to run after the blast. Huge clouds of dust sent the crowds running for cover. But the nine-second implosion, they'll tell you, was well worth the wait and the mess. Great. Great. Fantastic. Oh God, this dust got like completely <laughs> engulfed us. Well, I was very impressed. And the reason I was impressed is because it seemed so graceful as it came down. <laughs> It really was sort of graceful, more than our videotape could possibly show. But there's something else about the implosion, the power, the sheer efficiency of the blast that is somehow unforgettable. I'm an architect, and I mean, I have a definite appreciation for the fact that thing came down the way it did. And I'm, I'm still shaking from it. It was nice. Definitely something to see. You can still find bits and pieces of Sander Hall floating on the streets in Clifton and Coryville. But the hall itself is now a memory, a piece of Cincinnati history that won't soon be forgotten. I saw my doggone dorm hall grown to evil destruction.